All right, guys, welcome back on this Merciful Fate journey here that we've been going on. Uh, knocked out the first EP, knocked out the first LP, and now we're looking at this big record here from the band, which will be their last album uh, until, you know, 1993 when they returned uh, in the reunion. But we're talking about Don't Break the Oath, 1984. And I'm sure it shocked a lot of people to their core after, you know, such a big success of an album that this album is, and then the band breaks up, right? You know, I I can imagine that being a pretty big ordeal at the time um, for fans of this band and everything. So, because, uh, you know, talking about being big, I mean, the production on this one is quite a bit bigger than the first EP and LP. Um, it's just so it, very polished on this one. Um very thick sounds on the guitar from Michael Denner and uh, Hank Sherman, as we'll see and, and as we'll get into here. And just a very extremely well-produced album. Um, and as far as the songs go, let's just jump right on in. But side one, first track, opening track, come on. It's a dangerous meeting. One of the best Merciful Fate songs of all time, in my opinion. Probably top ten, top five even for me. Um, just absolute unapologetic banger of a track this one it just jump starts you right into what this album's going to be about it it has that big kind of grand feel to it um of like you're entering something crazy uh you know and king diamond's vocals of course are just on another level um just as they were in the prior two releases and this just again the 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 really chunky riffs here and, and the, just the, and the guitar tones that the, you know, the dual headed beast on guitar here, uh, with Hank Sherman and Michael Denner on the, on the guitars doing their, doing their thing. They just absolutely nail it. Some of their best guitar work of uh, ever, if not their best guitar work, uh, in my opinion, but yeah, dangerous meeting easily, easily. Um, one of the best merciful fate songs out there. And one of the best off this album. Let me hop into Nightmare, uh, another just, man, just kick you in the gut, badass track, because this one, uh, the, and I, I like on this one, you get a little of the layering of the vocals from King Diamond from doing those high pitch, you know, um, almost choir-like uh, vocals, like he's going so high on some of these on this stuff, it almost sounds like, you know, he's like a, doing like a choir or something with his voice, but just by himself, but then... You know, he's layering that on top of his deep, kind of gruff, um, that just, you know, that anger, uh, that angry voice that he's got. So, very, very cool uh, sound and track here. Very cool lyrics. They're really crazy and wild, cool lyrics all over this thing, uh, which, you know, of course, you're always going to get from uh, from uh, King Diamond, Merciful Fate, anything like that. So, um, any, any of his projects, right? So, uh, very cool stuff. Awesome, awesome song. Then we've got Desecration or Deseration of Souls. Um, man, another chunky riff here that we've got from the guys. Um, really, really badass solo. And I also want to mention, too, you can hear a lot of, like, the upped, with the upgraded production, you're hearing a lot more of the bass going on on these tracks um, that are kind of helping drive in just the power uh, of these songs. But... Yeah, solid, solid track with uh, Desperation of Souls. Then we close outside one with another, just one of my favorites off here, Night of the Unborn. This one is just, man, fantastic stuff. Always been one of my favorites off here. Um, you know, talking about this, that screeching King Diamond howl, if you want to call it, right? You're, you're getting a lot of that going on in this one. And it's just, you know, it's piercing through you, you know, very, very... Um, very very impactful and you know with those again with that upped production um we're getting you know just i mean it's just sounded even clearer and clearer how damn good these guys are um and now to the young boy, i mean you've you got an incredible solo going on in this one i mean all over this sherman and dinner are just going freaking nuts um and you know their chemistry is really being uh becoming more and more apparent on on uh, as the time's going on in this band here. Then we flip it on over to side two with The Oath. This is like the big epic off here. Good seven minutes and some change. And this one, man, what a freaking 
dark and just evil, sinister track. I mean, it starts off with like a satanic prayer, just some wicked stuff going on, right? And, you know, this is where they, they're delving into that uh, progressive side again with, you know, for one, having an epic length song. And then on top of that, having all these like wild time changes, um, crazy, you know, extensive guitar solos and such, all while telling just this big story here. Another just amazing, amazing, well, Merciful Fate song. One of the best off this album. One of the best they've got. This album's loaded with that. Um, and it's just, this really, again, just feels like a grand, uh, a grand song on a different scale. It's like they really, all the power uh, is just going right into these tracks with that. It's like everybody's just on top of their game on this thing. And the Oath is, is one of those masterpieces of the band, I think, that they really just, you know, they get this story going on in there and just tell it through not only the lyrics, but just the way the musical delivery and, you know, every every note played by everybody uh, in this thing. And the, the Oath is just a brilliant, brilliant piece. Then we go on to Gypsy. Man, I, I just can't say it enough about these freaking hooky riffs, man. They just, they were just knocking them out every riff on here. You'll just be like, damn, that is just so hooky that it'll just get caught in your head. And Gypsy's another one of those that does that here. And another one of my just favorites um, off here uh, by far. And it's just, man, it's just crazy. Some of the, just the brilliance of some of these riffs. Some of them even being uh, that you would be like, man, that even that is kind of like a s simpler riff than maybe some of the others. But like, it's just, it's so... It's so unique and stand out, you know. Um, and again, you're hearing uh, some badass bass work, drum work going on um, as well. I, you know, got to make sure I mention that because again, that that's a big that that's a big um, part of adding to that bigger feel and that uh, grandiose kind of feel that this album's got going on with it. But yeah, Gypsy, uh, super hooky. Uh, Versus riff and chorus that'll just was ultimate standout merciful fate track. Then we go with welcome princess of hell, another just sick one, man. This is another one where you're like, damn, that riff is so good. How did they come up with that? You know, and it just, it, I mean, it, that riff just carries the song on this thing, man, all the way through, um, and it kind of even like jumps around and evolves uh, throughout the song, and just the the shredding and soloing over that. Uh, that main riff is just, man, out of this world, uh, incredible. This one is one that, you know, maybe, maybe I've slept on in the past. Uh, you know, I've always liked it. Of course, I've always just dug every song off here, you know, uh, but this is one that is definitely rose up for me as becoming like one of the top tier, uh, tracks on this album. One that I kind of forgot just how good it was. Um, so that, you know, again, that's the, that's the beauty of revisiting these things. You sometimes will be like, man, I, that one, it, it's just almost it's like it's fresh to you again. Um, but yeah, the Welcome Princess of Hell, badass song. Then we go with just kind of a little interlude here, kind of a softer little interlude with uh, To One Far Away. Cool little, uh, cool little break in the pacing there before we jump into Come to the Sabbath. Another one that's always just been one of my absolute favorites. Um, I mean, this one's got like even some like wild breakdowns in it where, you know, it'll kind of, you get that just heavy power and riff and then just kind of like this little softer, uh, almost synth or like synth keyboard kind of sound going on, a little melody. And then the guitar starts playing over that. Man, this is just another one. And, and that's just out of this world top tier, top shelf, merciful fate that you cannot, man, I'm, I'm telling you this, the, the improvements, uh, that, the, you know, that, that's why it is kind of a shame, but kind of not in retrospect, knowing where the band would go, but I'm sure people thought that like, this was going to be, you know, a terrible thing, these guys breaking up and everything. But, you know, I guess back then they didn't know that they would get of course, they didn't know they would get back together, you know, in the early 90s and everything. And out of them breaking up, Merciful Fate breaking up and everything, we got, you know, the King Diamond solo stuff, which I'm also just an enormous fan of. So, I mean, it all ended up turning out just fine. But what an album to 
to end it on. You know, I mean, I, I think that's, uh, if they were going to go out with a bang, man, they sure as hell did it. They went out on top too, um, for this first run. They did, they went out, you know, at their absolute peak, of course, to later come back in 1993 with their album in the shadows, which is where we'll pick up next time. But yeah, so quite, quite a big, what, uh, nine year gap or so, or hell no, it would be a, or yeah, it'd be just a nine year gap, um, in between albums, but you know, so you'll, you'll definitely be hearing a difference as, as we kind of journey along through this, uh, discography here, you'll hear a big difference in, you know, production, recording quality and everything, um, from the eighties to the nineties. Um, but again, the, the production on this is just top notch. So, not necessarily saying one one's better than the other. I'm just saying that, like you know, you'll you'll definitely hear a difference sonically uh, in the band once we jump that far ahead, right? So um, we'll be looking forward to that going on. So yeah, guys, what do you think of this iconic, iconic '80s metal album that is just a standout amongst Merciful Fate's discography? Easily a standout amongst any anything King Diamond's done. Um, and is definitely, you know, one that's carved out in metal history. And I think even without the, you know, it, it, let's say the band didn't um, end up reuniting in the early 90s, which I'm glad they did, of course. But let's say they didn't. We could at least, you know, e even just this three, one EP and two LP run that they had, that Merciful Fate had in the 80s is legendary in of itself, as we've seen so far. You know, three just amazing, uh, amazing records, so... Anyways, guys, yeah, uh, that's Merciful Fates. Don't break the oath, man. Just if you've not heard it, gotta gotta look into this thing, man. So freaking good. Always have loved this album, and it just remains uh, cherished by me and loved by me. It's just a just an amazing standout '80s metal album, um, with of course you know even some thrash elements, some black metal elements to it, especially like kind of. I mean, King Diamond definitely was an influence on the black metal scene for sure. Um, so, yeah, it, it's just got, and of course, again, you've got like a lot of the progressive kind of stuff going on in here with a lot of these just wild time changes and some offbeat um, time signatures and moments, especially on that epic length track, The Oath. So, yeah, um, if I had to maybe pick a least favorite off here, I would maybe, uh, I'd maybe say, besides the interlude, of course, I would maybe say Desperation of Souls even though that one is also freaking badass. So what does that tell you about this album? It tells you it's freaking great. So anyways, guys, yeah, stay tuned as we hop nine years, almost a decade uh, into the future next time when we take a look at In the Shadows, the big uh, return album for Merciful Fate. Anyways, guys, drop some comments down there about this thing. Like, subscribe, and let's just keep running with this Merciful Fate discography. Thanks.